Welcome friends, we're coming to you from Alexana Estate in the heart of the Lambert Valley. I'm Jeff Lewis, Director of Education for Ravana Wines, and I'm standing here at the Ravana Vineyard in the Dundee Hills surrounded by our 56 acre vineyard. This land is some of the most expensive vineyard land in the entire state of Oregon and known for producing some of the top Pinot Noir in the world. Today, we're going to talk about Alexana's other Pinot, our Terroir Series Pinot Gris. The history of this grape is fascinating in the Willamette Valley. The very first vines of Pinot Gris planted outside of Europe were planted three miles from where we're standing, just on the other side of this hill by the late David Lett at the Irie Vineyard. Stylistically, Pinot Gris in Oregon, there's a huge spectrum. You have higher yielding stainless steel fermented, really intended to be drank quite early. And then you have this more serious approach to Pinot Gris. This wine comes from three hillside vineyards and it sees a little bit of barrel fermentation is intended to be one of those serious Pinot Gris. So we're gonna head up to the winery to talk to Brian Weil, our winemaker, who's gonna tell you a little bit more about each one of these three vineyard sites that goes into this wine and his approach to producing an absolutely stunning, cool climate Pinot Gris with elegance and texture. Welcome to Alex Sada. My name is Brian Weil, I'm the winemaker here, standing in front of our press, because we're gonna talk about Pinot Gris today. And to me, this is one of the most important parts of the processing of Pinot Gris. Once you get it in from the vineyard, you gotta be really gentle on it. Pinot Gris has quite a bit of color, so being as gentle as possible on that pressing is really important. For the Terroir Series Pinot Gris, we actually do a combination of different aging vessels. For me, it creates more complexity in the finished wine, and certain vineyards actually do better in different vessels that we use. So the Ravana vineyard that we work with for the Terroir Series Pinot Gris is in the Dundee Hills. It's our estate vineyard. 56 acres, only two acres of Pinot Gris. The Pinot Gris is some of the oldest on the property from the 2003 planting. It has a really special portion here in the middle of the vineyard that has a combination of also sedimentary but a little bit of volcanic in it too. So it makes a really complex wine, it can be really oily and rich, but still maintains some great acidity because of the little pocket it's in in the vineyard. It stays fairly cool in the afternoon so it doesn't get a lot of afternoon heat. Bella Vita Vineyard is one we work with for the Terroir Series Pinot Gris as well. It's another Dundee Hills estate. We only get one acre from Steve Whiteside there. Phenomenal grower. It's also another kind of oily, rich, ripe site like we have here, but it's really delicate too. It's our first pick Pinot Gris. It always comes in about a week or two ahead of the Ravana Vineyard because it's at a higher elevation, but it has a little bit more sun than it gets early on in the morning just because of the way that the undulation of the hill is. The Dundee Hills to me fruit, especially from the estate and from Bellavina, uh, really work well in barrel. Neutral barrel and actually a little bit of new barrel as well. That's the texture part of it. There's enough oiliness coming from the fruit that I think putting a little bit of barrel influence on it can really help back that up. Then the Stone Ridge Pinot Gris that we work from northern sections in the Willamette Valley. It's on Pete's Mountain. It's actually a really cool vineyard because it's some of the oldest Pinot Gris in that area, if not in the state, that's left on its own roots. 1985 is some of the original plantings that we work with. We also get some blocks from the 94 planting. But with the Pinot Gris, that stuff up there is the latest pick Pinot Gris for us because it's the highest elevation. It's a lot cooler of a site. So really minimal kind of skin color, really fresh flavors, ton of acidity. So that one is the one that I really look to put into stainless steel to keep that bright freshness. A lot of stone fruit, a lot of pear, peach. It's just a beautiful vineyard, historic vineyard, and something that really works well with the Terroir Series Pinot Gris. Well, that's the story of Alexana's Terroir Series Pinot Gris, a story defined by three of the top hillside growers of Pinot Gris in the entire valley to produce a serious, age-worthy style of Pinot Gris. Thank you so much for your support, and we hope to see you here at Alexana on your next trip to the Lambert Valley. Oh.